It started out at Central Baptist with Pastor Bob McClure. He's a traveling missionary. We were going to Rivermont Baptist in Front Royal, and uh, the uh, pastor there thought that it would be a good idea to start a missionary work here in Strasburg so we wouldn't have to travel from Strasburg to Front Royal. We were taking a family of Blakeleys that had like 12 kids. We were all cramming into a station wagon and going to Front Royal every every time the church was open and he just wanted to get something started here. So that's when Bob, Bob McClure came. When he came, he had to take a nap before he preached and he was a big man. He would eat at our house and take a nap and then go preach. Or he'd just come to our house and sleep. <laughs> he just, he would show up any time of the day and you know, he would tell mom, he'd say, uh, I need to take a nap. And he'd go back in the back room and lay down and take a nap. He was, he just made himself at home. He was a, a big jolly guy and uh, he thought of our house as, as his house, I guess. He was a, he was a real, real nice guy. We would meet in mom's basement and uh, just have a short service. Mom copied songs out of songbooks. Then we moved to a um, house on Main Street. There was, um, it's where the uh, town hall is now. There was a, a building there that we, we met, had a meeting. And we would be there for a few months and then we were at the uh, fire hall upstairs for a, a little while. And then the storefront on Main Street that was Kaplan Building. And that's when Pastor Hill came to, to preach and um, he did all that free we, we couldn't pay him but he would have service that um, was for anybody that wanted to come in and uh, we might have had 20 25 people but it, that lasted until we got our uh, property up here at top top of Fisher's Hill and then it started building I think Roy, Mr. Burke, would, uh, was the one that found the property. And we just decided to do the basement. We didn't want to get into debt with anything. So we just were in the basement until we could get an upstairs part. And then it was uh, the metal building that's there now. That It was brown, but now they've changed it. We had several ministers come in there and then uh, Pastor Larry Vondell was there for a good while. In the valley because of God. I started Liberty Baptist Church because of God. And everything that God has ever done in the ministry of Liberty Baptist Church has been because of God. I went from Central and he changed it to Liberty Baptist. And then um, we got a couple pastors after that. And then Pastor Warren came in. So. It was touch and go, but we, we're striving now. Pastor Warren came to Liberty in 1990 and Pastor Dusty in 2004. They, their wives, their children, and the church family have been and continue to be committed to following the Lord's leading. The Lord's response has been to bless Liberty with an ever-increasing membership and the addition of several buildings. A recent blessing has been the ordination of Pastor Dusty. The pastors just worked so hard to, uh, to get it where it is now. I really like the preacher. The preacher is very down to earth. When we started here, Pastor Warren was, he was working 60 hours busting tractor tires. And for me, a man that would do that and preach, it changed my perspective about church a lot. And that's one of the reasons I felt comfortable coming back was because of of his leadership and him being willing to work to provide for his family and, and not take a check and, and do church because God called him to. I like Dusty and Dina too. You know, Dusty, he really goes the extra mile, especially for the children, to get the children in here. He's, 
He's not cramming God down their throat, but he's inviting you to do things so that he's able to speak about God to you in a good, kid-friendly way. We loved it here from the very beginning, even though it was you know, very small. We just felt this is where God wanted us, and here we are now, what, 28 years later. There's times that we would start a service with just myself and my oldest son, Dusty, and Diane. And Diane would say, so what are we going to do? And I said, we're going to start church. So I'd get up in the pulpit and I'd say, good evening, welcome to Liberty Baptist Church. So let's stand and we'll get started. And I would like, seriously? It's just us. And he would just like, you know, like tell me, I'm having church. Stop. <laughs> and both of them would start laughing and then we'd start singing and then people would come in. He would just walk in the double doors there, the office area. And as soon as you came in and turned around, that was a sanctuary. And it went... Okay, where the, the doors are that go into the um, balcony of the Family Life Center, that was the end of the building. And the baptistry and all that was there. The changing rooms, yeah, the changing rooms was a security room and I think Brandon's old finance, finance office. Those were like the changing rooms for the baptistry. And so, yeah, that was it. It was just a small little... Oh, and then the pastor's first office was his conference room now and then my first office was that as the coat room now. I first came to Liberty back I think it was in 1990 it was shortly after a couple months after pastor and Diane came here to start preaching it was very small not that many people so just you know not as many things going on. Uh, we started coming to Liberty in 95 when we first started with the church being so small, you were a lot more active in everything. Um, everybody had to do a little piece here or there. I had um, pastor's oldest, Dusty, um, was in my Sunday school class, and a lot of times it was just me and him. My family and I started coming here approximately 1999, maybe 98. We were a family of six at that time. When we used to ride by on our way to our previous church, we always wanted to come in. But the church was so small, and there were six of us. I was afraid we'd push somebody out of a pew. So when the church added on the first addition, we started coming. There might have been 30 to 40 people here at that time you knew everyone by name. It was small. It was nice. But in reality, that's not what you want. It's church. It needs to grow. We got to the place to where we were running just about 60 people in the late 97, early 98. And then um, we had uh, Jack Honey with the Mississippi Nailbenders called up and said, well... You know, we're coming to build you a building. I said, I didn't know we were planning on building a building. He said, well, you better talk to your people because we're coming in May. This year, the Lord sent us to uh, Virginia. And uh, we're excited about it. We're building a 4,000 square foot church and framing up in one week's time. And there'll be two or three other crews coming afterwards to finish up the job that we've started with. And we get a real blessing each year by donating our time and our efforts. And what we're starting here is a building, but what the people are going to do is build a church. Uh, last February, we had talked about the asphalt in the parking lot. wasn't too long after that that Jack Honey from the Mississippi Nailbenders called me and said they were coming to build our addition, which was a great answer to prayer, a miracle in the making. People in the community are so good. The Ruiton Hall, Strasburg High School has uh, just uh, been over backwards to help these men out. And we just like to say we thank you for the support within the community. First Bank as well uh, down in Strasburg. Altogether, 170 volunteers from nine states will be working together to have the church ready by June 28th. We came here 19 years ago. Well, we first came here, they were just working on a parish chapel now and on the other side. It was, it was small, but they, they was working on it, and we just thought, uh, you know, we was looking for a church to have a pastor that 
will preach from the Bible. I first came to Liberty in about 2005 or 2006 when I was like five or six. The the church at that point was kind of still sort of small. We were still up in the up in the prayer chapel, and it was just so close knit, you know, which it still is, but. It was just a lot smaller, and I remember being in Miss Wendy's classroom the first time I ever came with Stu, and it was just so much fun that I always, I always wanted to come back. We were first when we first came here. We were asked to work with the youth about a couple months after we got here, and we started working with the youth. And at that time, uh, I believe Pastor was looking at applications for youth pastors, and uh, so him and Diane had gone on a trip. Um, and Diane, I believe, asked him, why can't we just get somebody within the church? So when they got back, they talked to me and uh, asked me about coming on as a full-time youth pastor. And God moved, and about two years after that, uh, this all happened, and we ended up getting asked to be youth pastor, and I accepted the call. And it got to the place to where we needed something for the young people, so then in... Oh five, we built the steel building behind, which became a gymnasium. And as soon as we did that, the uh, congregation exploded again. So we had to move from the upstairs that we built in 98 to the downstairs that we built in 05 within seven years. In 12, which was seven years again, um, we built the new sanctuary, which is only for worship services and everything kid-related is in the steel building or the gymnasium. Liberty offers many activities, service options, and outreach programs which help its members grow in the Lord, create wonderful memories, and spread the gospel to the local, national, and international communities. The buildings that we have here are not just used for church, uh, church purposes. We have a, a outreach with our, our bands, we have outreach with our trailer, we have outreach with the buildings. Um, a lot of times there are some funerals that are for uh, groups bigger than 200 and none of the churches in town can hold that. So they'll ask to use our venue for a service, uh, whether it's a, a wedding or even a funeral service. Uh, we have people that ask about our life center, um, We've done sports camps in the Life Center, on target archery in the Life Center, the 4-H shooting sports is in the Life Center. I think my favorite memory would probably would yeah would probably be going to camp with friends. The other is Survivor with the teens. Absolutely love Survivor with those kids and watching them um, be challenged. and new experiences and learning about Christ and coming to Christ. Just, I guess, the women's events are really, I, I really enjoy those. Um, just getting together and having that chance to just feel refreshed and having that opportunity to serve too and just the closeness and being able to kind of be yourself. I always enjoy the Christmas programs too. And you know, the sunrise service. Enjoy the children and play they have now too. Yes. That's enjoyable. See the kids getting involved. This church is a very mission-minded church and I love it and I'm thankful for it. The number one thing that I really love about Liberty Baptist Church is its outreaches. Um, when we first came uh, back in 90, there may have been three or four missionaries, and now we're supporting right at 30 missionaries. Um, our outreach goes not just all over the world, our outreach goes into the community. Um, Thanksgiving outreach, Bearing Precious Seed outreach, in this year, which is uh, 1718, uh, the church purchased a building down in Strasburg that houses a nonprofit gym in which young people go in there free of charge, able to work out, 
and it's ran and the gospel is given when they're there. And there's been many that's been saved through that outreach in town. One of my favorite things with Liberty are the mission trips. I absolutely love the mission trips. Uh, we all go as a family and we travel with families and we all get together and go um, and meet our Mississippi Nailbender family and we all have a great time and we get to build other churches. Standing on the Word of God in all of its preaching, teaching, activities, service, and outreach allows Liberty Baptist to be a true light in the local community and in the world. God's Word's preached every Sunday and um, it's, you know, preached from the Bible and it's no, you know, going around, you know, padding it or anything like that. It's, it's straightforward. I love that this church stands on God's Word alone. I just like the way the preaching and everything is. I mean, I know it's coming right straight from the Bible. And I just, I just love God's Word, and I love it that it's, it's the main thing here. Matthew 22, 37 to 39, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I think my favorite thing about Liberty is that we are so close, you know, and that everybody cares so much about who you are and what you're going to do with your life, and they're so invested in you, and they just want to help you succeed and make sure that you're okay. I know I can go to anybody, any anybody, and just cry my heart out or, or cry with them because that's what we are now. We're not just a group of church people. We see each other on Sunday and then we don't care. No, we're just, we, we're there for each other and everybody loves each other and we support each other. It's, it's just what a church, what I think a church should be. It's, it's just open, inviting, friendly. People smile, people greet you. You know, people care about you. You care for one another. You pray for each other. That's just my favorite part about this church is the people and how God works through the people in the church. So many different people from all, all personalities are just wonderful people that come here. The amount of people has gone up over the years, but the, the family feel of the church still stays. I still flash all the way back to 1990 when we had maybe five, ten, over how many, and now we have, I don't even know how many, praise the Lord. You know, so it's, and I always told Preacher back, as, as we started to grow, I would tell him, I don't want to ever forget where we were, because it, it makes us thank God to where he's brought us.